continues with Larry Kane. There is something absolutely fantastic about music. Sometimes it puts you in a better mood, brings back incredible memories. And there's an especially evocative kind of music. Maybe you heard it in the stairwell of your high school or walking in the old neighborhood. While people move on, music lives forever. And it is with the street corner sound that it is so catchy, it becomes part of your entire being. In Philadelphia and around the world, that music is called doo-wop. There are songs many of us carry forever in our hearts. Memorable songs like this started in the 50s when hair was short, cars were long, and the music was doo-wop. It makes you happy, it, it, it makes you feel good. It's, it's something that happened in your life. When I was a young child, I would take my allowance every week and go to the store and buy my 45. And I just have kept them ever since. There was a lot of uh, protecting your girl back then and, and, and fighting for your girlfriend and, and, and don't look at her or else. Philadelphia was a hotbed of doo-wop music and some legendary singers still live and work here. See if you can recognize the man trying to sell this couple some lamps at a flea market in Lansdowne. It was that 35, 2 for 35? Yeah, sure. He looked like this in the late 50s, and his smooth, clear vocal style was unmistakable. Here's a clue. He'll even sing one of his big hit records to help make the sale. Long, long and lonely nights I cry my eyes out over you Long, long and lonely nights the lamp salesman was born with the name Arthur Lee Andrew Thompson. We knew him in the 50s as Lee Andrews. Lee and his backup group, The Hearts, recorded a string of memorable hits like Long Lonely Nights, Try the Impossible, and of course, Teardrops. I sit in my room looking out at the rain. My tears are like crystals. They cover my window pane. Lee and current hearts, Richard Booker and Richard Swoop Mason, still sing in our area about twice a month, usually at oldie shows. Although Lee Andrews has sung throughout the world and appeared with most of the major stars of rock and roll, he treasures the stories of singing to defend his southwest Philadelphia neighborhood. The groups would actually meet and challenge each other to a duel. And we, this is how we uh, knew who was the baddest in Philadelphia. We sang them guys off the, off the map. Some, some great competition, too, like uh, um, the Blue Notes and, sure, Hal Melvin, the Intruders, people like that, sure. And we got together and, uh, on a good Friday night, and the guy, naturally, that uh, survived was the guy that all the honeys, you know, just loved and applauded. Lee Andrews' music still inspires people. There's a beauty salon at the flea market in Lansdowne. And on the day we were there, they were playing Lee's records. The Bluebird of Happiness. I love that. I love that music. She's, she's really the, she's our mascot, right? According to doo-wop disc jockey Lee Jollis, known to his listeners as Mr. Lee, a good doo-wop song should have certain key elements. Well, you, you, need, you really need a great bass. It's very important. The bass man has to stand out, and he has to be bold, and he has to be aggressive. What did he say? Okay, so maybe the lyrics don't exactly make sense, but they do evoke a feeling. The the lead is 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 almost screaming at, at certain times. Sound like a cat. <laughs> Start. 
and doo-woppers like this group called A Perfect Blend will tell you it always helps to sing where there's an echo. The roots of doo-wop come from gospel music. In the early 50s, vocal groups like the Orioles and the Five Keys took that sound and added an urban touch. By the late 50s, hundreds of groups had formed, including a quartet called Rick and the Masters from 22nd and Morris Streets in South Philadelphia. The group broke up in 1964 when the doo-wop era gave way to the Motown sound and the British invasion. But in the early 80s, when group harmony made a comeback, so did Rick and the Masters. And if he wants to be what she wants him to be. We found them singing live, a cappella style, on DJ Harvey Holiday's radio show. And their love will never fade or die. Let them love and be loved. The a cappella groups carry on the tradition. They love the music so much and you get four or five guys or ladies and you put them together, it's like a basketball team. They practice, they have the great harmony, and they sing the songs that they love by the, you know, the old groups, the harp tones and the spaniels. And it, it's fabulous. I know a cappella groups that they, guys had sung in high school, they met at a wedding, hadn't seen each other in 20 years. Two weeks later, they had a group. <laughs> you know? And you know, they're singing for money. You know, they go to Crass Brothers, they get five suits that look alike, and boom, they're in showbiz again, so it's great, you know? Hey, hey, let's make it two in a row from a group you know on the holiday doo-wop show, the fabulous Flamingos on Oldies 98. My love must be a kind of blind love. Harvey Holiday plays only doo-wop on his Street Corner Sunday show on WOGL Radio. Hello. On an average Sunday, hundreds of callers phone in their requests. I play the the things that have been established uh, over the years as, as the great doo-wop songs. It makes you happy, it, it, it makes you feel good. It's, it's something that happened in your life. Everybody can sing it. Stand by me, stand by me. That's all I know, so I don't want to make an idiot of myself. Doo-wop adopt. And this music has always been connected with great folklore. A doo-wop classic, Why the Fools Fall in Love, was recorded by New York City's Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers in 1955. Lyman was only 13 at the time and was one of the group's backup singers. The day of the recording session, Herman, who was going to be the lead singer, had a bad cold, so they decided to let Frankie Lyman, because he was the only guy that knew the words, sing the lead. And he became, you know, a, you know, a superstar of, of the doo-wop. Harvey Holiday says it's hard to pick the most popular doo-wop song of all time, but there's one with a Philadelphia connection that stands out more than any other. They guys from Space Landed and they said, what's a doo-wop record? I think most people would play Freddie Paris and the Five Satins in the Still of the Night. He was on guard duty somewhere in South Philly, maybe the Naval Yard. He wrote the song at like 3 in the morning in guard duty went to a church in his hometown in New Haven, Connecticut, cut the record on the standard label, which is very uh, valuable, they say, if you have it. Collectors say the original in the still of the night is worth around $1,000. But get this, record collector Val Shively showed us this rare 45 worth $16,000. It's called, I Can't Believe. The group is the Hornets. I can't believe. I can't believe this record sold for 16 grand. The people that don't appreciate say, well, sounds like five guys dying. Well, you know, whatever. So let more die like this. This is great. Okay. You hear the hiss? You don't get that with the CD. <laughs> Shively buys and sells rare and valuable doo-wop records from his warehouse in Upper Darby. It's called R&B Records, and you won't believe this place. A dizzying array of records on shelves, on tables, everywhere you look. You talked about, uh, you know, the way it looks in here. You know, to the, to the people who care about the music and love it, I mean, this is like, this is the way they would want it. You know, most people come in here and put their head in here and say, see you later, what the hell is this? Val, who's 50 now, started collecting records in the sixth grade. Through the years, he's sold thousands, but he still has a few left. 
Over four million. Two million here, a million upstairs, a million upstairs, and, and a million on the second floor, at least, maybe more. I mean, I don't. I stopped counting years ago. Head now, head now, head now. Everybody, stand up. Pop, pop in time. You can get a taste of the good old days on any weekend night at places like Patsy's Pub in Frankfurt. This group is called A Moment's Pleasure. Come on, come on, let me show you where it's at. Come on, come on, let me show you where it's at. Come on, come on, let me show you where it's at. The name of the place, I like it like that. So come on. Michael's Bar and Restaurant in Center City is another popular place to see live doo-wop. The night we were there, members of a Philadelphia vocal group from the early 60s, the Butlers, struck up some sounds from the bar. Bartender Helene Cavello schedules the singing groups at Michael's. She's also a huge rock and roll fan. She says the doo-wop groups give the crowd a special feeling. Most people that come in here don't have any idea who sang the song originally or what year or what label it was on, That, but it brings back a memory for them. It's like, oh, I remember where I was when that song was playing in the still of the night or whatever at my prom, and that would, that, those days are good days for most people. And the good old days are paying off for some younger people, too. Earlier, we showed you a perfect blend. They're from the Logan and Germantown neighborhoods of the city, and they're creating new audiences for the old music. When they sang at 30th Street Station, a crowd gathered, including the station's security guard. We feared he might ask the group to leave for creating a disturbance. But it turns out, guard Mitchell Dixon was an old doo himself. Times were simpler then, and uh, a lot more uncomplicated, I guess. And, uh, you, you, you were feeling good back in 58 and 59. You know, you're looking good, too. If you wondered who put the bop and the bop sha bop sha bop, now you know. You said I couldn't say that, did you? I'm still amazed that there's this wonderful sound out there that doesn't have any uh, backup musicians. It's all in the human voice. And I bet you were surprised there are so many talented people right here who are doo it all the time. If you want to catch some of these sounds of the harmony, there's a doo show coming up at the Theater of the Living Arts on South Street. That's January 21st. Or you can go to Patsy's in Frankfurt or Michael's in Society Hill. I have to add, ever since we started working on this story, our staff has been bopping and doo wopping around the station. I think pretty soon there'll be a new group called The Bulletins. But believe me, they won't be getting a recording contract anytime soon. When The Bulletin returns tonight. Ever